Good morning! Hello everybody and welcome to another Hoof GP show. Today you're joining me on my way to my first and only farm and I have Stevie Boy with me today. Say hello Steve. Hey Steve. We're on our way to trim no more than 20 cows at this farm so there should be at least 30 to 40 because it's my brother-in-law who's dealing with me and he thinks he'll get me there quicker if he tells me there's only about 20. But I know for a fact when I get there there'll be at least 30 if not 40 and they'll probably bring some more in from some other farms. So let's crack on with the video and see where today takes us. So we are here at my brother-in-law's farm. That's his little boy, Leonardo. Say hello, Leonardo. We've Hi. got 22 or 23 of these to trim. And then we've got a couple of big boys. One is a Simmental and one is a limousine. And you guys have seen the limousine before because he had a really sore foot. So hopefully he's going a lot better than he was last time. So let's crack on, get these dairy cows done and then get on with the bull. I'm working out of a straw pen here, which is good because it's good for the cows, but terrible for me because it gets everywhere and takes me an age to wash the crush. Plus, you guys who always say I should be washing the feet. Look at this. Can you imagine trying to get that off? It does cause other problems. Watch this video and you'll know what I'm talking about. Hi. <laughs> You would not believe it, like. <laughs> right, get the next one up. Mark, my brother-in-law, actually works at this farm. He does a tremendous job and a very, 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 very difficult job. This farm is owned by a guy who owns 11 or 12 farms that I know of. Milks around two and a half thousand cows between four of those farms, three of those farms, four of those farms, and has an awful lot of beef cattle. And this centre kind of works like a distribution centre in a way. Mark milks the cows every morning and every afternoon, but he also, um, that takes charge but really really deals with a lot of the logistics of where these cows go he deals with people coming in from all over the place to buy cattle and he shows them around the place so he does a tremendously valuable job and it's one that i wouldn't or probably couldn't do myself so hats off to you mark you do an awesome job come on come on go on on you go hop, hop, hop. go on that's it go hop, hop, hop. Go on! Up you go! Next in! Go on! On you go! Come on! So as I said before, the farmer who owns this farm actually buys and sells a lot of cows and this is one of the cows that he's bought in and she's come in with very long feet and this one has actually got a bit of corkscrew claw and if you guys remember the video from last week you'll know exactly what i'm talking about so let's get this whittled down and back into shape and get her having a much much more comfortable life we build a pass on stolen ground but now i cannot see at all to find my sound my harmony is not broken it's like I lost my wings My heart is only playing on a single string I gambled every token I thought that we could win But still my heart is playing on a single string We had a mission We had a plan Tiny changes can be hard to understand 
Should we go and get the bull in? Yeah? Hey, move! Hey! Hey! Come on! Come on! Come on, there, Carla! On you! Come on! Ah, don't you dare! Hop! Go on! Go on! Hop! Hop! That's one in, Leonardo! Come on, Megan. There they are. There they are. Action. On you go. Come on, boy. Come on, round you go. Hey up. What? Go. 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 That's a boy. That's a boy. On you go. Ah. Nice and easy. Go on, boys. Go on, boys. Go on, boys. On you go. Right, come on, Sam Card. Come on. Marks. Mark says this guy was in before and he was laying on one of these back feet. So now that I'm at home, I can take a closer look at how that Lemmy Bull looked last time we trimmed him. So on his back left foot, there was a big white line crack with lots of claret pouring out. As you can see, it looked a bit of a mess and we applied a block and some repiderma. On that back right foot, it was really twisted and contorted and again, there was a really deep white line crack with again, lots of the red stuff here, there and everywhere. So there is a good, good comparison between how it was three months ago and how it is today. Mark says it's going much better, but we'll see what we find. I think he said it was the right foot. So here's the comparison for you and this is the after shot. As you can see he's still got a bit of a crack up that outside claw but it is nowhere near to the extent that it was in the before video. And as you can see I'm working my grinder up there because it's so important to take out the top of the crack. 
If you guys take out the bottom of the crack and dish it out, yes it'll look better, yes it'll be slightly more comfortable, but it'll just return. So it's very, very important to take out the top of the crack and do the five step Dutch method with the rest of the cloth. So he's obviously had a problem here in his white line. So as you can see, he's obviously had a problem here, which is completely fixed now. So he's definitely not lame on this one. So straight away, I can see this one's oversized. There's been a problem here and there's definitely been a problem there, but it's about four or five months since this guy was trimmed. So we'll crack on, we'll level them up, we'll make this one the same height as this and investigate any problems. same length and the same height you can see some of that bruising showing through because this foot was bigger than this so it was taking more weight Okay, we've modelled it out, it's quite thin there. In fact, it's really thin. There's a tiny little spot of blood there. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's tiny. And that's because the inside of his foot must have descended down. So when I trim to my normal parameters or normal kind of measurements, it doesn't apply in this case because this guy's bone structure's changed. So now we're gonna remove this loose horn, remove this and we'll see if this is loose or what. This little black spot is nothing, it's just dirt, but I don't want to take it away because I need to leave this horn as high as I possibly can because this is where all the weight bearing properties in a cow's foot is, or a bull's foot in this case. Let's just check this now. I can't actually quite remember this foot, but it looks like there's been a problem here and a fairly severe problem here. This redness here is just bruising for the new horns growing in. So as you can see, I removed all of this broken and cracked horn. It's a nice sound horn in here now. That black bit again is just dirt. I want to leave that there so it's as high as possible. And they are fairly level. So I'm pretty happy with this. And so is Mr. Lemmy Bull. Twenty turned into twenty-four, so that's pretty good to be fair. Just got four left. Oh, three and a half. She's half done. Just wanted to say, yesterday morning I looked, I got past fifty thousand subscribers. So fifty thousand individual people subscribed to this channel, which is crazy. Totally bang bonkers, mad mental. And I know that each one of you is a person. It's not just a number. It's somebody sitting at home watching your pad or watching your phone or watching your computer and click and subscribe and I just want to say thanks so much. Today I woke up we're actually at 52 and a half thousand so we got two and a half thousand subscribers yesterday which is crazy. I really really hope I'm teaching you guys something new in each video 
and giving you a little bit of entertainment and a bit of insight into my life as a hoof trimmer. I'm really enjoying doing the videos and I love the fact that you guys are watching so much. So keep doing it. Um, comment below why you like the videos. Comment below what you would like to see in the future, if anything. And if you have any questions, as always, leave them in the comments below. And I will try to reply if I can. I do read every single comment and I appreciate the time and effort it takes you guys to comment. So thanks very much. On with the video. I gambled every token I thought that we could win But still my heart The only bother with trimming and straw is, apart from the obvious where Craig is concerned, is it's a bugger to clean and it takes you ages. So I'm going to spend the next 40 minutes trying to clean this crush. I'll see you soon. So it's been another good and rewarding day here for me in Wigtonshire, sunny Dumfries and Galloway. Really hope you've enjoyed the video and learnt something new. As I'm sure you'll see, revisiting cows or bulls that have been lame is worth its weight in gold. It is so, so valuable to you and the cow. That bull, for instance, was worth maybe £3,000. So taking the time out just for maybe 20 minutes worth of trimming is crucial if you want a success story with treating lameness in your cattle. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks again for watching. Bye. I wish you could see yourself Just sitting there on my chair